In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate the critical value of R, the correlation coefficient, using a critical value uh, calculator. So here you can, I've got the Excel spreadsheet that can serve as a critical value of R calculator, and you can download this by going to the description of the video right below the, uh, the screen here and clicking on that link and it'll download this Excel spreadsheet for you. Now, to calculate the critical value of R using this calculator, it's really easy. You just go to this yellow cell here, click in there, and the critical value of a correlation coefficient depends on the sample size that you have. So if you've calculated an R and you have, say, 150 uh, uh, people that completed your survey. Your sample size is 150, so you type 150 into there, and if you press enter, we get the critical values down here. If you've made a one-tailed uh, hypothesis, a directional hypothesis, that the correlation is going to be either positive or negative, the critical value is 0.1348. However, if you made a more exploratory hypothesis, or you didn't make any hypothesis at all, and you just, just are wondering, uh, you just create like a table of correlations, or if you're looking to see what correlations uh, might be significant, uh, the, this would be a two-tailed correlation that you're looking at. And the two-tailed correlation, uh, critical correlation coefficient is 0.1603. So that means that any correlation greater than these critical values is uh, significant. So if you had made a hypothesis predicting that two numbers would be positively correlated and you had a sample size of say 200, click 200 here, enter, any correlation greater than 0.1166 would be significant. So if you'd gotten a calculation of 0.25 or 0.3, that would be a significant correlation. And if you were doing general, uh, uh, general data exploration, it would have to be greater than this two-tailed correlation here. The degrees of freedom, which you need to report in APA formatting, are just two minus the sample size, but they're reported here also. Now, this assumed an alpha of 0.05. If you wanted to use this calculator with a different alpha, you could. You would just need to type it in that cell C7, press enter, and that would give you the appropriate uh, um, or critical values. But most of the time, you're just going to need uh, an alpha of 0.05.